What's going on, guys? Welcome to our third installment of Magic the Gathering Master's Cube Modern Vintage Draft Legacy Edition. Mike's Oof, job is there in... it is! I don't know what to take here. This pack has a bunch of my favorites in it. We got Scarab God, Ashiok, Craterhoof. We haven't been a Craterhoof deck yet. Mike's job is making sure Frank buys that, buy that merch. Oh, Frank and Mike buddies from this stream. What up? Mine is Bart sells his soul. That's uh, that's also a good one. I think it's got to be Crater Hoof, right? Yeah, I want to do it. it. Sounds fun. It sounds. I'm having a good time with Crater Hoof Behemoth. That also probably opens up green because we're passing all the good like blue cards. Maybe it opens up by that merch. Did you ever think Search about that? Tomorrow. Stupid. Over Gilded Lotus. I think so. Over Gilded Lotus? Yeah. Early ramp is OP. Over Gilded Lotus? Yes. I'm not going to say it again, guys. Well, you pick whatever you want. Speaking of big butts. Over Gilded Lotus? I don't know if we click that link. It could be risky. Oh, no, God. It's YouTube. It's fine. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Damn. Damn, boy. Damn, boy. He thick, boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. How many views has this got? Uh, this video has only 23,000. Oh. That's actually not a lot. Lotus Cobra. Yeah. Look, we got Gilded Lotus Cobra. <laughs> Buy that merch. Backlight, what's going on? Good to see you, Chris. Always a pleasure, buddy. Damn, boy, he thick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I can't wait till Dominaire and I can stop paying $40 to draft. Yeah. Yeah, that. I guess it's just Whisperwood Elements, all right? Because yeah, sure. it's either that or Overwhelming Stampede, and this will probably come back. Probably. I actually like Whisperwood Elemental a lot. Until until you Whisper Elemental and your first hit is Crater Huff Behemoth, and you're like, oh. I has a sadness. Explore. Throne. I think it's explore. Weesh. Tidings, you get to draw four cards. Four cards. So excited. Ooh. Ooh. It's a master boy. There's also No. We're Group not taking no profit. profit. Why not? Because Masters of the Hunt, man. Leggy was my pick. What is Leggy? I don't know what Leggy is. What did I miss? Leggy my Eggy? Leggy is good with Hoof? What the hell are they saying right now? What the hell's Leggy? I don't know. You've been streaming for three hours. Don't forget to eat some Hungry Happy's Pizza. <laughs> TM. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are amazing. Backlight two months in a row. It's definitely been more than that. Thank you so much, Chris. Really appreciate it, buddy. Liege. Oh my god, you guys are ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sorry, you spelled it wrong. You spelled it leggy. I didn't know what you guys were saying. You friggin' weirdos. A leggy is my pick. Is it Garrick or is it Kitchen Finks? It's gotta be Garrick, right? Nah, creatures. Does better Garrick with makes kitchen fink. Oh, he yeah. makes creatures. He doesn't make kitchen finks. Yeah, I wish he did. That'd be amazing. Put a kitchen that'd fink into play. That'd be really good. Wow. Don't make fun of my lazy spelling as a condition. I thought you were just copying. I thought you were copying Alan. Oh, Chris, thank you so much for the real the 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 non Twitch sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Garrick can also kill things. You might say he's a murderer. It's murder. How about this for a snip? You can only refer to each card you draft by some nickname you make up for it. Oh, my God. I would do that. Oh, my God. I would do that, but we'd forget the nickname. Bloom Tendy. Is that like a chicken Tendy? Yeah. I kind of like Staff of Nin, though. God, you're so addicted to that card. I like drawing cards, man. I like six mana cards that draw me two cards a turn. That's what I want. In Clearly. Magic. I want six mana cards that say you can draw another card this turn. I don't take the damn Bloom Tendy. This pack is terrible. Right. Um, 
What do you think our second color might be if we have one? Nothing because like double black, double blue, triple white, double red. Like maybe no, not even that. I'm just gonna take Dragon Skull Summit. I'll deny someone a land. Like a little jerk. I had to leave on my phone. Did he win? I did not win the third round. The third round of that. We went, took it to game three. We got him to one life in game two, but then we lost in, in game three. Wow, really? You're going to cut me on the blue here? On the green? Tetsamok? I guess. Tidings? No. <laughs> you Just love... now. It's four cards, though. Four cards is a lot, man. Yeah, but it's a do-nothing. It's four cards, Michael. Look. Ooh, Hunmaster. Look, it was meant That's to be. Worth splashing. It was meant to be. Really? You're not going to take Huntmaster here? His, it's more like Buttmaster, dude. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, I want to be the blue. I want to be the blue. I want to be the blue. I want to blue the very best. Westfield Abbey is always actually reasonable in these monocolor decks. Oh, Creaky. That card's just fine. Creek, Creek with Leggy. Look, our devotion's real high now, too. So when this nick those tables, we're good to go. Did we turn down a nick those? I thought that was an exotic thing. I don't know. There was probably a nick those going around. What do you want me to do about it? Shut up and deal. Shut up and deal, he says. I want to be the very best. <laughs> be thick, boy! That's a thick-ass boy! That <laughs> God. Oh, I forgot his name. What's his name? Anthony. I forgot his name. Oh, look at, that. Look at this. We have a, a splashable white card, a playable blue card with a blue green land. Incorrect. <laughs> Tidings not a playable card. False. Is it playable with this guy? I mean, Relic is probably the pick. It's always the pick. Yeah, the card's really good. Yeah, the card's really good. Anthony Fantano. All right. Yeah, that's it. Anthony Fantano's a pretty solid YouTuber. <laughs> I could play that clip like five times in a row. That's because he's a thick boy. More like Punt Master of the Fells. Like is that like a known YouTube guy? Yeah, Anthony Fantano. He's like, he does a lot of music reviews. He was also on an episode of... Uh, he was on a First We Feast episode with uh, Sean Evans. They did an interview. Oh, and then it, that is like a food tasting thing. They did. They ate uh, veggie burgers, vegan burgers. Oh, I did see that. Yeah. Okay. That's actually where I heard about the Impossible Burger. And I was like, this is amazing. I think Reclamation Sage is probably pretty good. Oh, Sol Solemn? I don't know. It's probably Slalom. Slalom Simulacrum. We could also play Flooded Grove to Sage splash our table. tidings. No. Just no. <laughs> Stop. I veto that. Oh, I like a Sylvan carry added a yeah, lot. Yeah, that's good. Also, but this helps us cast our tidings a little easier. Just now. Okay. Dang. Although Radical does attack? Nah. I was thinking that too, but I like the Hexproof is real good. Because they just kill your stupid idiot when they don't have Hexproof. Stupid idiot. This is a lot of Michael Scott faces on the internet. Like, <laughs> They're all the same one. They're all slightly different position, though. I'm sure you can find some other ones. That one's pretty good. This one? Yeah. It's not bad. I think they're all pretty good. I want to be the very best. You guys like want to sing this Pokemon song to you? Like no one ever was. Burp, 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 burp. What's Hunter doing over here? Is he looking real cute? Hey, buddy. Test Invader. Over Walvertz? Yeah. Really? He attack. Yeah, but he protect. <laughs> I ain't worried about protecting. I'm worried about attacking. I also like Nissa here. Like, we have Lotus Cobra, Bloom Tender, Someone Carry Added Coalition Relic, and Solemn Simulacrum. And, and, and Guild. Yeah, I think it's actually Nissa. All right. Ooh, Trigon Pretty. I do like a Trigon Pretty. It's also still an avocado, though. I think I like Trigon Predator better. Trigon Predator better. 
Yeah, I'm going to take the Trigon Predator. I like this deck so far. Put our good old fashioned tidings in. Oh, chromatic lantern? How many uh get the tidings out of here? How many lanterns? I'm gonna play this card. This is a good card in a blue green deck, bro. No, it's not. Oh, I it's guarantee so you it is. Bad. Ugh. You're so dumb. I'm so you sorry. You have five mana? You you're, draw four. How gonna, much do you pay to die? How much do you pay to draw four cards with the Sphinx's Revelation? Yeah, but that's instant speed. There's a huge difference there. Not in a green deck. Yeah. No. The benefit to doing it in a blue-white deck is that you want to play other things or keep counter spells up. When you realize they're not playing a creature and you don't have to counter it, then you draw your cards. In a green deck, you have nothing to do on their turn anyway, so you have no reason to keep your mana up. We're just going to play that and die. That's what's going to happen. I hate you so much. I'm just going to take Hornet Nest. Okay. Oh, I like Owl. Oh, Rashby seems sick, actually. Yeah, she looks like she has the flu. She's got, like, long head disease. <laughs> long head disease. Oh, wow. Jade Light Ranger came back? This deck is looking... Reclamation Sage! This deck is looking gassy. Man, prime looking, man. Like hot farts. Oh, we're definitely playing that main. What are you doing? What? I got a Tidings over here. No, put that in there. Don't be ridiculous. Primal Command is way better than Tidings. Hungry Howie's bot has been summoned to order and type... <laughs> Type command pizza followed by your, your topping choices, your address, and your credit card number. Delivery in 30 to 60 minutes. No pineapple allowed. Have a hungry howie evening. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why does this exist? <laughs> oh, my God. Also, Gilded Lotus with Nissa is like a million. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Look. Look with your Nest Invader. We are the only green drafter at the table. I don't think we play Oregon's Nest. Oregon's Nest? Hornet's Nest. Hor Hoarder's Nest? Yeah, we should definitely play Primal Command. Primal Nest? Oh, God. What's the matter with you? It's painful. The Tidings or my friendship? Both. Okay. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Tell Mike to shut up. Tidings is awesome. Shut up. Tidings is awesome. It's not. It's really not. It's it's. Gonna... I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it more than anything else. Why do you hate it so much? It's like the it's like the most like, it's like the worst version of that card they could have put in cube. Like okay, I'd much you... rather have Jace's Ingenuity, which is instant speed and draws you three. Like why? 100%. Why in a deck like this when we have nothing to do on their turn anyway? Why does it matter if it's instant speed or not? Real question. Don't give me a smart. Smarmy answer. <laughs> Just why? I mean, like, in a deck like this, we have nothing to do on their turn. We literally have no instance. Literally none. Okay. So why does it matter if it's on their turn or our turn? Maybe. <laughs> You're such an idiot. I hate you so much. <laughs> you are my tidings. I hate you so much. Can we just take this along? Uh, We could. It's either Garrick or Ulamog, right? I like Ulamog. I don't know how reliably we could... Well, actually, we could probably get to 10 mana pretty reliably. I feel like we could. Gilded, look, let's look at our ramps, our ramp options right now. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of things that ramp us. All right, take two and one. Besides, the group will come back. <laughs> You're probably as right. Will, as will the Galta. As will everything else. Look at this. Ooh, fertile Grounds? Fertile Grounds? What? What did you call it? Fertile grounds. Fertile the grounds? No, fertile grounds. Fertile? <laughs> I thought that's what it was called. What the hell's a fertile? You know, fertile it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> fertile it? Yeah, fertile it. Isn't there a there's a card called fertile it? Yeah. <laughs> He combined that card with this card. <laughs> oh, Ooh, is it Progenitor Mimic? Because we know all these green cards are coming back, right? Yeah, sure. You can take Mimic then. <sighs> Fertile and Ground. <laughs> I had no idea Fertile was a card. <laughs> Why are you even a 
fun. I just thought it was fertile in ground. Let's I totally pick so- this. Can we? There we go. Oh my god, I was getting scared. Burberry. That's pretty late. That's better than tidings. <coughs> I agree. Oh man. <laughs> Dear God, man. It was just so random. Like you just. Why did you pick? Why did you, why did you say that? Why would you default to that? Oh, Oracle and a Nissa. Nissa. And a Jace? Is it Nissa over Oracle? Yeah, I like Nissa. This is also a Planeswalker. Planeswalker? Planeswalker. That's a chicken. Planeswalker is a chicken. Hungry Howie Bot is new here. Say hello. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The, uh... I like scavenging use. Good sideboard, too. The main board. Who knows? What the hell's a main board? God, main deck. My people. bad. I hate you people so much. It's just charter course. Cards poop. <laughs> oh, fertile and ground. I'm losing it. I already lost it. Frank Garakusa like is having a stroke on 911 now. Oh, <clears throat> what's the pick here? It's either one of these two, right? I'm not playing any of these cards. <clears throat> it doesn't matter what you take. Farseek? That's good. Or Cold Steel Heart. Probably Farseek, right? Yeah. Farseek's better. Then's the old. Ooh, Draga. Jiragi. Wow. All right, pack one, I think. 27 plus 11. <clears throat> That's what, 38? Yeah, so that was that was our eighth pick. Well, I don't think we're playing that. I just want to live that dream once. The Galta dream? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Fartle and seek. <laughs> All three Try of me. these came back, dude. I try builder. Same. You don't like fertile and ground? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just because of the shame. I'll never pick it now. All right, we got to cut some of these. Probably explore, and I don't like Dusk Recruiter in the deck. Yeah, you can cut both those. We now we have Bloom Tender. I don't like Nesavator. It's pretty mad. Or not Nesavator. Bloom Tender. Oh, you already cut that card. Never mind. This is probably better. Oh my God, Awakening Zone seems legit actually with Praetor Hoof Behemoth. Yeah, that's true. Pierce from the board. God, the blue cards are. Definitely worth playing, but Trigon, Rashmi, Br- you can probably sideboard Trigon. I think so too, especially because we have Reclamation Sage. Yeah. Or do we play the Trigon and side? Actually, well, the Reclamation Sage is your cast. Yeah. And you may never attack with the uh, Trigon. <clears throat> Bloom Tender is pretty bad. Yeah, it only adds green. Yeah, we cut that. Once we have so much ramp, we got to cut some kind of ramp. I don't like Primal Command that much. But it searches for our big hoof. Does it, though? Yes. I don't know if I like Creekwood Liege. Sure. Cut that idiot. This might be a 16 land deck. Every one of our two drops yeah, we is literally six. ramped. We can definitely play 16. But now we got a couple more things. Like, look at all these cards that actually add mana of some sort. <clears throat> this is why I do want a card like Tidings, because it's just... It refills our hand, which is pretty necessary in a deck like this. This is 12 cards out of 25 that add add mana. That's a lot. I think it's probably just Rashmi. She's pretty dirty. <laughs> what? Maybe cast your first spell over the top card of your library. If it's a non-land, you can cast it or put it in your hand. Yeah, I know what it does. That's very good. I just I don't like cutting card advantage in decks like this. Because the dirtily modern cube... You just want all the card advantage you can get. And we gotta cut something. Do we? We're not a 15 land deck. No, we're 1641. <laughs> no? I don't think so. You don't think we're 1641? Yeah, I'm greedy. Let's do it. Any chance we can get a turtle next stream one of these days, you and Mike? Why do you want us wearing turtleids? Fertilid ground comes from using a fertilid Wait, mulch. hold on. You just said turtleids. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to turtlenecks. Why do you want us wearing turtleids? That's exactly what you said. Somebody quote that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. 
crying out loud. I can't do this. Oh, we can cut one of these and add the this guy. I think we need more blue sources than two. Okay, let's figure. Look, look, look. Let's let's be realistic though. Okay. Let's put all the blue sources over here. This is eleven blue sources. That's fair. But we want green. We want early green for all this idiot stuff. Plus, we only have like what six blue cards? One, two, three, four, five blue cards. <clears throat> I think this is fine. Yeah. <clears throat> Sixteen forty-one, ladies and gentlemen. Turtleids. Good lord. Oh, I'm basically dead right now. This has been an amazing run. It's up all right. It has been something. I think these turtleids are stricken blood flow to the brain. You're probably not wrong. <clears throat> Oh, look at this gas hand. Turn to Coalition Relic. I like hands like this because they literally say, well, you can do anything. Plus 16 lands, so there's no way we flood, right? Famous <laughs> last words. Island! <laughs> Just as bad. <clears throat> Oh my god, are you gonna spell pierce this? <clears throat> I will cry. Are they gonna manatize it? Oh god, watch them manatize it. Okay, watch them spell pierce. I mean, it wouldn't be that bad. Oh, they didn't do it. Blue. We have a lot of lands. We don't really need it. I guess so, but it slows us down a lot. Because we can't play Coalition Relic till 3. Whereas right now we're playing Huntmaster on 3, which is significantly better. That's a that's a good card. That's nice. That resolve too. Oh In boy. theory, if our master wall and stays around long enough, that'll just win us the game. You're right. Well, <clears throat> if our master of the wild hunt sticks around long enough, that just wins us the game on its own. True. Turtle it goes in the toilet. What? <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh my god, dude! I'm crying here. God, coalition relic is so good, dude. Taps for double, basically. Of any color. Here comes trouble. Make it double. Oh, look, your favorite. <clears throat> we can put one of their lands on, on top? <clears throat> yeah, I don't think we do that. Really? I think we creature first. But they're just going to have removal. We can put them, We can set them back so far, dude. Michael, so far. So what? Put their land on top, search for something? Yeah, let's do that. Alright. So we're going to target player shuffle as soon as they're no. <clears throat> Put target knockridge corner on top of Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> Did we play land first? Let's play land first. Kerwin, five bones. I like <laughs> I like Tuttleids. You and me both, buddy. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Turn on. God, I just hope they don't have a counter spell, which they will. Never don't have it. Oh, they just tapped in response. Interesting. Ulamog? I think it's a little early for Ulamog, right? Nah, man. Look how many lands we got. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, two more and we're good to go. You're actually not wrong. Well, it's still four turns, though. <clears throat> what do you want to get instead? I don't know. Yes, sir? No. Not. I don't know. Whisperwood? Sure. It's a threat. Or we could just take the Ulamog. I like taking the Ulamog. All right, I'm going to take the Ulamog because of you. Just because even if they counter it, like, what are you going to do? Hungry Hurtleids. It's only we bad if they have thought seizures. We should open a restaurant called Hungry Hurtleids. What do we sell? Hurtleids. What's a Hurtleid? What's a hurdle with you? <laughs> I shouldn't have laughed at that. <laughs> yeah, but you did. Oh, I should have tapped the relic for F6. I do like tapping relic for, relic for F6 value. 
Look at this turtle -id. What does that even mean? Oh my god. Oh wow, that's so good. Yeah, let's do that. God, we're so far ahead right now. How much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana, so we can actually play this and play this for one. Which just puts it to three. It's alright. I'll play this guy first, see if they want to counter it. I bet they do want to do that. Essence scatter? No. I don't understand what's happening. Sure. Put both of you on the bottom. <clears throat> we'll play land, right? Yep, play the forest. All right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana right now. We're getting there. I could care less about that idiot. I like that guy. Oh, we can actually scry something reasonable onto the top with Whisperwood. Well, not going to be either of those. Here comes the Essence Scatter. Wow. <sighs> Why does Frank talk in his matches? I don't know. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I'm not, yeah, but if we draw lands naturally, that's fine. Cool. I'll draw lands naturally. But, like, I have no desire to artificially engineer a situation where I'm drawing more lands when we... Like, because we're drawing spells with eight mana on board, which is just fine. That guy's pretty good. Might have to deal with that guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We actually have nine mana if we get a land. <clears throat> There's old Rashi. Old Rashi. So she's dead, right? We might as well look at something and try to put it into play, I think. Was it just put into play a top card if it's a land or creature with current mana cost equal to the number of loyalty counters? You may put it onto the battlefield. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm okay with it. <clears throat> so we are gonna die. We're this is gonna di 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 die here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we get a land, we just do a little mog. Which seems pretty good. Until they mind control it, right? Yep. That's that's a thing that's gonna happen, I'm sure. <clears throat> Look at this photograph. That's the one that always makes me laugh. Did you know that? I didn't. I know. Why are you the way that you are? Why are you not? You fall asleep? Yeah. Why am I not the way that you are? That doesn't make any sense. Nerd. Frank loves mountains. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Sure, Rashmi can be an 03 with no abilities. Now you can disfigure her. Stop talking. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Having a good time. Just having a good time. <clears throat> this is the most least impressive Crater Hoof Behemoth ever. Well, when we have no creatures. That is technically a land. And 
and it's our seventh land. So we get to flip him as McGee. And she's going to die. So we do get the free card off the top or the automatic 4-4. Four, four? That is the question. I'll get a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah? Is that better than the random card off the top? You think so? Maybe not. It's hard. It is hard. And drawing cards are probably better. Plus, it means they have to attack it with the Blood Gift Demon and not the War Kite Marauder. Actually, it ended up being better. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Like, if you didn't counter Nissa, you're not countering Psalm Simulacrum, so. I know you guys love Hungry Howies, but have you ever thought of doing more Noid related cons? <laughs> Avoid uh, the Noid. I feel like we, I feel like in general, we try to avoid the Noid. It's just my, just my stance. Did you really say that? You'll be dead until I die, chicken dad? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like a lot of these streams, I'm just kind of drunk, even though I don't drink. Must be. It's a real interesting thing to have happen. Someone must be injecting you with the weed. Well, I, I tried not to inject myself with too many marijuanas before the stream. So just to be clear, next time we do get to Ulamog, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Unless, of course, they take away our coalition relic somehow. You know, we can still draw land, right? Yeah, we can still draw land. Sure. I don't care about your... Your death touch when I have. I don't care about your little demon. I don't care about your, or well, your big demon. Your demon I care about. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's Ulamog and copy it. I'm going to do that. Probably get rid of the flyer. The Both, both the flyers. We're hitting these two, yeah. Because he will no, no doubt have a way to answer our Ulamog if we... I, mean, I think they're going to counter the Ulamog, three. but... Still seems pretty good. Nimble Obstructionist would be good. Snapcaster, Essence Scatter, sure. Your guys still die. You got it. Still feel okay about that. Also, Mimic on Crow. One, two. What do we have? One, two, three, four. You should have 11 mana here. Uh, this is 14, so we're a little far from that, but I think Progenitor Mimic on Simic Solemn Simulacrum is also just fine, but I'm going to block here. <clears throat> this is also the same opponent we faced last game, last draft. All right, well, you know what would be a good draw? Tidings. Tell me I'm wrong. I can't. <laughs> I would love to draw four cards right now. And I agree with you that it is one of the worst of the blue draw spells. But in a deck like this... Meh, where we're drawing infinite lands, I don't think we actually have anything to get. Yeah, that was sad. Whoopsie. Yeah, we're at islands. Is this any creature? I think so. Right? Oh, yeah. I'm just going to copy this guy then. That seems good. Until they kill it, because it's a very mediocre creature. How many lands do we have left in our deck? I'll be back. Where are you going to go? you going to take a little boop? They did kill it. They have this member. Of course they did. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's still seven lands in our 19 card deck, so that's really sad. I only have two cards in hand, though. All right. Six lands left. Hi, vey.
does not. There you go. Come on, let's go. Tidings. Forest. Okay, we're doing well here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. Seven lands in the deck. Uh, I'm pretty sure the four lands were shuffled through with Nissa already. And Solemn Simulacrum. Like, there were several lands that were shuffled after... Uh, before Farseek. This is amazing. Are we just literally dying to a... Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 lands. Four lands left in our 16 card deck. Eighteen lands? Are you insane? What are you talking about? We have sixteen lands in our deck. I mean, we're at a point where we need to just play. Well, at least I can block this guy all the time. Bye, Visionary. Thank you so much for the sub for Pernicious Dude. That is awesome. Crying out loud. True Joy Wheeler. I was much better until my opponent cast Jace the Mind Sculptor against us when we have no ward presence. So. Yep. Sober Robert, uh, I assume, went to the bathroom. He was like, I'll be right back, and then he just left, so. Alright, well, this seems like I can kill one of these guys with the Crater Huff, but crying out loud. Draga Tree Speaker, Garrick, and a Forest. All right, well, one less land. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. There are three lands and twelve cards, so. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> Wow. It's like an actual joke. That's amazing. Pact of negation. <laughs> Good times, good times. It's five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, Gilded Lotus, Sylvan Carry added. All right, I didn't want any of those cards. We're definitely cutting like a Farseek for another, like, actual card. We didn't play Hoof because next turn we can... Well, I was hoping we'd have two creatures to attack with this turn, but... We are at four now, which is pretty brutal. Always yes, always yield. Forgot to add a counter with this. And, of course, the last land in our deck. Amazing. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Actually, there's one more land in our deck. There were two lands out of seven cards. 
So we're actually dead. Yeah. All right. This is way too much mana, apparently. Take out the far seek. Add. Might just be add Galta. Maybe ask Dusquatch Recruiter. Let's add Dusquatch. We're at 16 lands. I don't think we're cutting a land. We're also at 41 cards, so we're basically at 15 and a half lands. Scavenging Age doesn't seem great because we don't actually have a lot of ways to um, kill their things. So we're not like, we don't have ways to kill our creatures, so we're not like putting creatures in their graveyard and eating them. I think Westvale Abbey is fine. I just don't like having the colorless land because we have high mana requirements and we also have already 16 lands. So it's not terrible by any means, but. Give us a land here, actually. Perfect. Wow, that was very good. That was pretty perfect. Garrick into Kill Your Dark Confidant. Seems good. Liliana. Garakulon is also kind of the trooper. Oh my god. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I don't... I don't understand. I'm confused. Just got scared a green screen is wrinkled in the back and it looks like a crack in my laptop screen. Oh my god, that's pretty hilarious. Oh, over here? Yeah, I see what you're saying. I mean, we give them an essence scatter opportunity if we play Whisperwood. If we play Tidings, we just get to draw four. Seems good. Also guarantees we hit more lands. Frank, I don't want to alarm you, but there's a big poop break shaped empty space behind you. What does that even mean? Oh, right here is what you're saying? I got you. Ultimate price. What do you kill? My wolf? And then you put Garrick down to two? Sure. But he is still alive. <laughs> More wolves. All oh, the wolves. Um... Guess we get another forest. Let's get a nest invader.
I was thinking of actually progenitoring Karyata just because it'd be infinite blockers, but uh, I like the idea of actually having a way to uh, attack with Crater Hoof guys, which we might just play this turn in five, six, seven. If we draw a land here, we're just Crater Hoofing. Yep. Does this work for you? I think you're dead. What are they? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus eight, plus eight. Sure. Plus seven, plus seven. <laughs> Still dead. <laughs> Deal. All right. Good times, good times. Creek Ridley might actually be great here. You can take out the Reclamation Sage. I haven't seen anything. Oh, uh, I actually don't hate this hand. I think Mike's like vacuuming out there. I don't know what's going on. I do like Sylvan Carry added into Nissa or Huntmaster, though. That's pretty gas. And they can't even target Sylvan Carry added with uh, with War Kite, so no shenanigans. Wow, it's like when you draw spells at an equal rate as lands, you can play Magic and possibly win games. That's exactly how I feel about Magic the Gathering. Kira. a good draw. Maybe. Oh, maybe when you talk like that. Maybe Mike didn't make it to the bathroom and now he's cleaning up his mess. I wish my dogs did that. Yeah, they they never do. Nissa could be a four, which means she dies immediately. Not ideal. I guess it's just Master. Master of Puppets is pulling your strings. But it's the Master of the Wild Hunt, not the Master of Puppets, so... What is he really pulling? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Sure. Hmm. That's a big... That's a big... That's a big daddy. I mean, we're taking a lot in the air, unfortunately, even though they missed a land drop. Oh, this is getting obnoxious. Oh, that was fun. What'd you do? Clean up throw up on the carpet. Did you vacuum it? After cleaning it with, like, soot products and wiping it all up. Who threw up? I don't know which animal it was. It might have been Hunter because it was kind of big. You're kind of big. It was, like, a lot of throw up. You're a lot of throw up. Wow, that's rude, man. Match two. Yes. Did we win? Match no, this is this is game three. Oh. I don't think I want either of these. Four, five, six, seven. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Did Mike throw up and blame it on the dog? God, he probably did. No, I did step in it though. That was fun. That sounds that sounds fun actually. No, it wasn't fun. You got them squishy feet, boy. Oh, look what I drew. I feel like we're just dead to these idiots. This is really frustrating. 
They just get two drop flyer, three drop flyer, and we draw nothing good. Yeah. I did not change my shirt. I don't know why somebody asked me that. Why didn't you? I guess we can activate this now because we might hit that dusk watch or uh, Jiraga tree speaker. Ooh, long's not even really an out because of Kira. What is Cobra? What's on now? Ulamog? Mm hmm. It's actually pretty bad, you're right. The classic problem with mono green. Six, seven, eight. Fire's too good. I think the only way to win is like random crater hoof for a million. A random crater hoof. Wow. Here comes the ultimate price. They always have it. I am waiting. Hey man, how was your throw up adventure? Pretty gross. I wish it didn't happen. Okay. But okay. Need us some creeping canopy. What even is that? Oh, the flying kill? Yeah, but then they already got like... What we need is some... Destroy all flying creatures. Does creeping canopy do that? I don't even know what that does. I'm going to look up creeping canopy right now. I thought that was destroy a flyer or destroy an enchantment. Oh, look, I'll fail push. Crouching canopy, maybe? Uh, there's a lot of canopy cards in Magic, more than I was expecting. Crushing canopy is what you're thinking. And yeah, that would just actually get countered because of the... How about raking canopy? That's pretty good. That would be real good. It's not what I'm thinking. Okay. Well, you don't have to get all aggressive with your raking is what I was thinking. There you go. You figured it out. Floats, floats. Where's this guy going? Floats, floats, face. Okay, we'll, we'll take all that. What do we got here? Five, six, seven, eight. So we can do both. We can add this. Add a blue. Rash me. Awakening zone. Is that good? need a lot of mana in a crater hoof, really. I guess they're only would win. I mean, we have a lot of mana. We already have seven lands. Eight. This is our eighth land. It's probably Ranger. Why isn't it just Rash Bang? Because it digs deeper. Do we even have flying creatures in this deck? I don't think we have no, a single not, floater. Not a single one. How could we have played Ranger plus Zone there? I mean, I guess we could have played both. We, we drew the Ranger this off the Tidings. Like we have four mana left. There's no way we play Ranger and Zone. That's six mana. Six 
Six, seven, eight. Like, we have enough mana for Ulamog next turn, but the problem is... It just counters it. Yeah, that's super bad. He should have reach. Yeah, because them dangly it's wanglies. It's a million feet tall. If they can tap out for something dumb, like a blood gift demon... Nope, of course. God, did they ever not have removal? They literally draw their second swamp the turn we play Rashmi? Come on. Like, we're dead either way. No, we can gain seven. Yeah, and search for Crater Hoof. Mm-hmm. Five, so we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana, so five... Six, seven, eight. Yeah. Third player gains seven life. Third player gains seven life. Congregation is really stupid. What a fun magic card. Literally dead. Oh, wow. Okay. Still had all these. Why does that even matter? Why even counter that? Like, I don't get it. Like, <laughs> like we're done with the game, right? I play Jade Light Ranger. You kill me. Right? Like, I'm out of mana. I don't understand. Apparently, the mid range counterspell decks are the best decks to be on. It seems like it. Same reason you play Jade Light Ranger, I suppose. Well, I guess so. I guess you got me. Yeah, that's four minutes really mid range, not that aggressive. Five mana, five mana, five mana, five mana. Double blue, double blue. I will assume an acidic slime is coming down next turn. Stop saying that. I'm sorry, it's just the way it is. But we're, if you don't say it, it won't we're happen. We're going to draw Crater Hoof. Okay. Six mana card instead. I uh, get to F6 my turn. And acidic slime. Ready? I just want you to be ready for it, that's all. Okay. I feel like if you don't say it, though, it won't happen. Oh, that's that's just fine. That's also really good. Yep, against the mono green deck. Seems great. Any land. There you go. We could get rid of a sword shovel in the library. I mean, that seems so bad, but... 
I'd rather just have Whisper Wind because we can make blockers. I wanted to stick you to the end, but I got an early call tomorrow. Amazing stream, one of the record one for the day. Might have obnoxious counter spells. We got corporate pizza tomorrow. Have a good night, buddy. Thanks so much for everything. You're awesome. Hey, look, our second blue. Wow, that was really loud. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you just broke your own neck. Steven to gold myself? Yes. Well, this guy does provide infinite blockers. So long as the green deck can't deal with it. That's a good dude. Fun times at Jimbo High. Jimbo High? Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm just going to put the sword on top and then gain seven. Or not gain seven. Search for a dude. Is that good? Hmm? What? What are you saying right now? I said, is that good? Why not? I mean, this is cost them their turn again. So, whatever. What do we have? Four, five, six mana? Maybe yeah, we can just get Reclamation Sage for it. It's true. That would be pretty good. Yeah, I think that's fine. It seems relatively underwhelming, unfortunately, but... Let's not attack. Hey, we can put that up. Well, not right now. We can't. And we're probably going to have to block because otherwise they make us feel bad about our life. Oh, a little rich car. You can put some counters on your guys that already have counters that are can already have mana. Real original, buddy. I have two cards. One of them is a sword. That seems fine. Thanks so much, you little jerk. <laughs> Look what you did, you little jerk. That's from uh, Home Alone. Bob Evans. It's not from Bob Evans, okay? They're going to make you feel good. That's not what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll just take no? six here. I could care less about your stupid drag tusk. I know one of your two cards. I'm on to you. Nickelback. Never made it as a blind man's kneeling, and this is how you remind me of what well, I read. That's a slightly better Nickelback song. That was actually a good draw, because now we can play both of the, the blue cards in our hand. Now we're not drawing the forest thing, we just came back. I think we're good now. Home Alone was kind of messed up. Hey, they abandoned their child. It's pretty, pretty messed up. What if I was your child? I'd abandon you so fast. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'd throw that baby in a dumpster. What if I was that baby? I, that's what I just said. Do they have a pump spell? This is weird. Whatever, I'll choose you. I'll choose blockage. Yes. Would you like to draw a card? I'd always want to draw a card. I don't understand this Rish card play, but I'm sure I will. No, nope, still don't. That was weird. Why did you run your Rish card into my 4-4? Four four? I'm very confused right now. Who knows? Give me a 3-mana card. No? You don't want to do that? Okay. I'm going to bribery here.
Let's see what you got here. Wickerball Elder, Verdian Emissary, Tireless Tracker, Sylvan Advocate. Okay. Duplicant seems good. Stealing your Whisperwood Elemental, but then you just sack it in response. It's not very good. Silverheart? Actually, it's probably still better to just get rid of this guy, right? Mm hmm. Just waiting on a different story, and this is how you remind me of a duplicate really is. This is just terrible. It's probably bored out bribery next game. It's not that good. You being serious? Mm hmm. Really? They don't have that many targets. They just have like 19 targets, including a bunch of useful targets like Acidic Slime, Reclamation Sage. Yeah, but nothing that can win the game. I can't tell you being serious right now. I want the briberies to win me the game, is what I'm saying. This is just a big troll, right? This is just one elaborate troll? No. Are you being serious right now? Yeah. What the hell is wrong with you? It's just kind of value bribery. I don't want my bribery to win the game. Okay, there's a good target. I changed my mind. They had it in their hand. That card is impossible to beat. Literally impossible. I mean, we could just draw Crater Hoof. Yeah, that's about it. What's Tidings? The best card in our deck. Hmm. Master Wall is pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. We take seven, eight. Yeah, well. It's not. I was going to cry if that was. Uh... Actually, I like being able to flip this and play a land. I was waiting on a different story, and this is how you remind me of what I really do. Six, six. Is that our death? Yep. Exactly lethal. Congratulations. Cool. <laughs> Never fails, dude. Did you need a way to win the game? Here, I'll just put it right on top for you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Magic the Gathering, thank you. All right. Uh, Hornet Nest any good? I don't know. Probably. I don't know if I care enough, though. <coughs> Keeps these. Look at Mike's photograph. Is the one that always makes it. We're not playing Abby because we have two. Our, our mana considerations are too high. We only have 16 lands, so I don't want one of them to be uh, a colorless land. When we have things like double blue, double blue, double green. You're gross. Yeah. You're disgusting. Oh, I like this. This is nice. Let's get a let's get a bluesle. A bluesle magoozle. Give me a draw a tree speaker here. You didn't. You didn't give it to me. Kapow! No idea how you ended up mono green. LOL. I mean, we were quite similar. So, Yeah, so let's talk about mean things. I'll go first. Huh. 
Trigon Predator is going to do some work in this matchup, boy. Oh, that was a good draw. Hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you look at this photograph? Where is that? It's the one that always makes me laugh. You know what I'm talking about. I don't. Well, dang it. That one? Which one? This one? Yeah. Yeah. That's actually perfect. I think that's going to be... That's definitely going to be an emoji. Sure. So we can go... Yeah, we can actually play everything this turn. All right, let's hit the mother load. That was not the mother load. That was terrible. It was almost the absolute opposite of the mother load that you can get. Emojicon? 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 Oh, this chat just got redonkulous. Who says redonkulous? Can we just draw Crater Huff off the top just one time? I don't feel like I asked for a lot. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm having a good time. They did not attack. Crater Huff. Believe it or not, that is not actually a Crater Hoof Behemoth. Really? Yes. Okay. Oh, well, you cracked your little clusal, huh? Who saw that coming? Nobody? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Every land I draw becomes another card. And my tireless tracker gets larger. That's pretty much the gist of it. That's how tireless tracker works. Oh, good. I'll kill your Trigon Predator so that I can't ever get rid of your duplicate. What a time to be alive. Oh, boy. Another free guy, huh? Okay, seems good. I feel like you know you're in bad shape when your greatest hope is that your opponent attacks into your Solemn Simulacrum so you can just draw one card. Instead, you have 16 lands in your deck and uh, you draw 10 of them. It's reasonable. It's a reasonable amount of lands to draw. Well, good news is there's only six more draws left of lands. Yeah, only 25% of our deck is lands now. Uh, I don't have a Pepe because I don't like the associations that it has uh, taken on. So I also think there's normal Pepe's, right? There's normal Pepe's on Twitch, so yeah, you don't need. To. I don't really have a I have to have a specific one. There's a whole land of Pepe's for you to explore. Hey, look, our opponent has Westvale Abbey. Good for them. That's gonna be really good. That's you're right. If we can top deck Ulamog or Crater Hoof, I think we're okay, but uh, if we can't. Wow, that was a lot of things to sacrifice for a three turn clock. Alright, we get three draws. Two draws, right? Yep, this draw and the next draw. Two draws. Classic.
Burp, burpy McGee, Burby McGee? Who is that? What's going on? What does that even mean? And like because of the life gain here, I don't even think it's actually I don't think Crater Hef even does it anymore. It's got it's basically gotta be Ulamog. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we actually were one mana shy of being able to uh Is this Burpy McGee? Are you people leaving because you can't stop burping? I burped literally like twenty minutes ago. Like at before this round. Dang. Oh, that that actually wins us the game. No, wait, I was just oh, kidding. I was like, thinking wait, of a what? different card. All right, the old O2 so far, a classic with our our classic green deck. I'm taking out this Farseek, adding in old Creaky. It's almost like 16 lands is too many lands. Let's actually cut one land and go to 15, and we'll see how uh, efficiently we can win now. Because I imagine we will we will sweep this third round. God, my opponent has my opponent has uh, Ormondal. Profane Prince, and I forgot to, I forgot to, I forgot to upgrade my Jiraga Tree Speaker. Amateur hour, am I right? <laughs> God. Oh, boy. Yeah, that would have definitely won us a game. Some people. They just... Yeah, who would have been the draw there? That's the only thing we could have drawn. I don't even think it would have mattered because they attacked with Ormondal twice, so they were at like 27 life or something. No, like it still would have been way lethal. They would have been like plus 8, plus 8 creatures. Yeah, that's true, I guess. That's a good point. It would have been like 60-something damage. Wow. We cut one land, keep in mind. We are at 15 lands now. So you so, kept that? Yeah, I'm going to keep the sand because we probably won't draw lands anymore, right? Why? You know that not to be true. Because turn 3, Nissa is pretty good. Plus, we're going to okay. top deck Utopia Sprawl. You ready? So it's a turn two, Nissa. We can cast that. I'm okay with it. Could have had an Elf Lord. It is I, the Lord of the Elves. You could have had me. So far, our draws have been pretty good. Where were you last turn, you stupid idiot? I will dissolve your awakening zone. You don't get to play spells today. <laughs> they didn't do that. Yeah, unfortunately, I only draw lands. Um, so you don't really have any much to worry about there. 16 land deck, and uh, you draw at least 11 to 12 of them per game. So, you know. NBD. Like a glove. Do we play around sensor here? No. I don't care. What the? Why would you untap my land and play it for two less? Oh, luckily they had a counter anyway. It's still, it's just still super infuriating. Like, come on, dude. The land literally untapped itself while I'm paying for X. Come on. Yeah, you didn't you didn't click it, it just happened. You saw the land physically untap. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Because Magic Online is hot garbage, that's why. Oh, you're paying X. I guess you don't need this mana. Always yes again. There you go. What are the odds? Zero, right? Probably. Yeah. Sure. 
Oh, what's the point? <laughs> wow. That's rough. <laughs> <laughs> what's the point, man? I think you probably should have played that. Here we go. Here we go. All right, Consecrated Sphinx one time, right? <laughs> right, guys? Consecrated Sphinx, guys, right? Oh, wow, that actually worked. Frost Titan, Grave Titan, Maloku, Nighthawk, Hippie. It's definitely Grave Titan. Two Jaces, Bellerin and Architect of Thought. They got Batterskull and Icy and Ashok. Which, Grave Titan? Yeah, I think so. I agree with you. It looks like you're trying to cast a spell. I can help with that. <laughs> Did you mean... Hoof. It's going to be a land. It wasn't a land, but... And it also wasn't great. Here comes Crater Hoof. You ready? Mm hmm. Okay, it's, it's just a Jade Light Ranger. It's okay. We still got a chance. That's good. Dragon Lord Solomgar. Good lord, man. Did you want me to auto tap your mana for you? Okay. I don't know why there isn't a plummet like card in this cube. Like, it seems really. There isn't? I don't think so. Hungry Howie's bot is our frustration at the game Magic the Gathering. Hungry Howie's bot suggests ordering a Hungry Howie's pizza to cure all salt. Have a Hungry Howie's evening. <laughs> Why? Oh, it's okay, because now we're going to draw a Crater Hoof and then they're going to Oblivion Stone everything. We're going to Tidings. I'm going to just Tidings. I don't even care. Yeah, that pretty much uh, kills her out. No, well, not anymore. Doesn't it? Maybe we can Primal Command this. Yeah. Shuffle it away. You can just activate it, right? No, it costs five to activate. Oh. So we put it on top. If they don't have their land, then they can't really do anything about it. And then we can actually search for Hoof. Yeah, let's do that. What turn is it? It's turn eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven. So it's their turn seven. Have they to land every turn? I'll sack you, weirdo. Sure. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna just go for hoof. Try to win. We can also generate a Solemn Guard, take Solemn Guard, get Grave Titan back next turn, which is pretty epic if they want to blow everything up. But it does blow up Grave Titan too, so. We're just hoping they don't have 8th land. No 8th land, and Crater Hoof is. Oh, oh boy! No counterspell? No 8th land. I think they would have gotten like plus 12, plus 12 apiece, so. Yes, yeah, so you get Grave Titan back because Selimgar says you control it for as long as... Because um, the game sees it as yours, so your timestamp is on it. It doesn't matter who owns it. I bet that would get a judge call in real life. Yeah, it's real confusing. Play less land. We literally went down to 15 lands. Oh, boy. I think this is fine as is, but... You should board in your fertilid ground. Fertilid? You mean... 
We don't have a fertile of ground, bro. I'm not going to 14 lands. Oh my god. I feel like we maybe should have went 15, which is really weird because... This is a little suspect. It's really good if we draw one land. Though. If we draw one land or if we draw like Draga Tree Speaker or uh, Utopia Sprawl. Dr. Armadillo PhD, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brooder. One time. Come on. Just give me. Just I Come on. I've earned a one time in this stupid draft. That was not a one time. No. Oh, got two more turns. You have two more faces. Or one more turn, I mean. Yeah, I have one more turn to draw the thing. That, eh, I think a certain curve tri builder is fine. Oh, we could draw a fertile ground. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Armadillo PhD, all lurkers welcome, especially if they have doctorates. Are you an armadillo that's a doctor? Or is your name Armadillo? Are you are you a doctor of armadillos? I, it's hard to tell. There's a lot going on in your name. All right. This is where the 15 land comes and bites us for the first time in the entire draft. The or his literal last name is Armadillo, so he's just Dr. Armadillo. Oh, we did it. Did you see what we did? I see it. You might say you synced it. My last name is Armadillo, though. But do you actually have a PhD? That is the question. No, it's not. Sure it is. That's not the question. You don't get to tell me what the question is. You're right. God, I'm so bad. Oh. Wow, I love how it just untaps my lands for me. Oh, counter spell. Uh, removal spell. Mechanical engineering. Well done. Good for you. Your name is legit then. No, they just made a, made a rat. Ratso toots. So now they kill Rashmi and they attack for six. Can I make a rat here? Really? Land? It's kind of like a land. Why don't you do that last turn to deal two more damage? I don't understand. I'm very confused about the decisions. Well, either way, so. we're going to die to all these rats, so don't worry about it too long. Okay. <laughs> don't stress about it, man. I like how our, the games we win are really grindy back and forth matches, and the games we lose are just because we got completely blown out by drawing terribly hands. It's very interesting. I don't think Gilded Lotus into... into Crickwood Leech really does what you think it does. Four, eight. I'll take I'll take all this and I'll just go to whatever you want to. Really? I'd be dead if you just discarded rats when you should have. I'd be at four already. And then you would I would have taken three more. I'd be I'd be at one instead. I'd take five more points. I don't understand. Yeah, there's literally no cards in his hand that could be better than just rats. Agreed. It's just rats all the way down. I will add a blue. You're disgusting. You're Hister's greatest monster. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's Hori Shadow. Hope you win this one. Also, Judge Joe Sapp says, Oh, I love Joe so much. He's like the best, dude. Tell Joe I said what's up. I'm just going to briber you. I assume you're going to counter it. Because that's what you... That's what you blue people do. Hmm. I mean, they're just going to... Silumgar... Look, Silumgar... Oh, Silumgar is here. Oh, Silumgar's fast. here. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. It just was. Well, it's probably just Grave Titan still. It's always just Grave Titan. He's a real Grave Titan of industry. That's terrible. Why don't you shut up? Do you ever think about that? No, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, you'll think about it now, though. 
Should I have attacked with these scions? These spawns? What do you mean? <laughs> God, I was waiting for some... Oh, you just had a... Yeah, an ultimate price. I was waiting for someone to ask, what do you mean blue people? What do you mean these blue people? Looks like we made it. Did we? What did we make? To dead. We made it to dead. God, let me tell you how fun of a card Pack Rat is. I'm listening. Okay, so it's not. Right. Mm-hmm. Is it four fours now? Yeah. Hmm, that's good. It is, isn't it? <laughs> and consider scoop. blocking and then scoop. Is there anything that even kills a pack rat? No. Hornet nest gets uh why not the insects? Oh, they do have death touch. Ooh, that's coming in. 41 cards, 15 lands. Live in that dream. Wow. What could go wrong? I don't think anything can go wrong. We're gonna win. Are you ready? I'm waiting. Are you ready? Yeah, Joe does a lot of traveling now. Joe's doing a bunch more events for CFB and stuff. Looks like we made it. I would put Pack Rat at about an 11. Uh, why did I? I didn't give up. I never actually cared about competitive magic. That's why it took me 20 years to qualify for the Pro Tour. That's why since the very beginning of my articles, I've only written about obscure decks that are more fun than competitive. Just a note for the game, he has that one pay two counter in essence scatter, otherwise no counter reset. Oh, they, didn't they didn't they have um Did they have pack navigation too, or was that the other deck? I don't know. I don't even know anymore. When I one day meet and marry Dwayne the Rock Johnson, we attend our wedding one thousand percent. You send the invite, I will be there. Pack was the other guy. All the blue counterspell decks that don't let me play my cards, they all blend together. Sorry. Land, please. And dead. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Had a good time. That's not true. Oh, wow. What? Wow. Joke's on you. That only hurts you, silly man. No, not anymore, huh? Gulmog seems like a pipe dream. Good times, good times. Oh, I missed the land drop. Look, we're basically the same player now. Uh, you're going to go in the graveyard. So are you. So maybe we'll hit some lands, huh? Not likely. Wow. Haters gonna hate. We have a Reclamation Sage to kill their Orzhov Signet when they're stuck on lands? Boy. I don't even want none of the above. I'm gonna piss on you. Yes, I do. I piss on you. I piss on you. Wow! <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Magic the Gathering uh, draft series. I don't know what I'm what? saying right now. What are you talking I'm about? I'm done, man. This game was brutal. This whole draft was brutal. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry the, about the uh, the uh, occasional salt and the uh, often lopsided matches with our mono green deck, but whatever. One, two. What are you going to do? Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons if you're watching on YouTube, and I'll catch you guys next time. One, two, what you